Welcome back to the ABCs of Podiatry. So now we're on to the letter F, and F stands for fracture. So here's an example of a fracture that occurred at the base of the fifth metatarsal of this left foot. This particular injury is known as a Jones fracture. Jones fracture only occurs in this region at the base of the fifth metatarsal. This is known as the proximal, not distal, but proximal metaphyseal diaphyseal junction. And this happens to be at a region where there is decreased blood flow to the bone. So as a result, it can take longer or not heal at all. So this is either known as a delayed or non-union. As such, typically it is recommended to undergo a surgical reduction and fixation of this fracture pattern, and it is done through a minimally invasive approach with an intramedullary screw. So here is an updated radiograph. This is approximately five or six weeks after surgery. You can see the screw is still in place, but you can no longer see the fracture. There's no black line over here because it has healed. Some foot types can be more susceptible to a Jones fracture. An example of this would be a cavus foot architecture. So this is our fancy name for a high arched foot. So why don't you tell me, have you had a fracture in your foot or your ankle? What was the fracture? What was the experience like for you? Did you have surgery? Was it treated with a cast without surgery? I'd like to hear your experience.